Now today I want to tell you about my beautiful and tasty Moroccan inspired pumpkin dip. Now when you're eating dairy free, sometimes it can be quite difficult to find uh, something alternative to hummus for your lunch. Or if you're catering for someone who has gone plant-based or, or is dairy free or wheat free or all sorts of free, it can be quite difficult to find something tasty for them and this is a great alternative. And the other thing is that kids love it because it's got the roasted squash in it, it's all beautifully caramelised and combined with the spices it's lovely and sweet and, uh, and, it, and it just seems to be a real treat for them. So what you need to do is uh, grab one butternut squash or, or pumpkin, a medium sized one, and roast it and then leave it to cool. So I've got one medium sized butternut squash here which I roasted earlier and it's all cool and ready to go. You can do that the day before if you want to. Um, and then we've got um, some uh, sesame seeds. I've got two tablespoons in here. This increases the protein value of the dip, but also it helps thicken it up a little bit. It gives it a bit extra calcium as well. Now I very lightly ground mine, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And the, um, then we've got our spices. So we've got some ground a teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a good heat teaspoon of ground cumin, but that's because I really like it. And we've got a pinch of salt in there as well. And then finally, I've got some chopped parsley. So you could use parsley or coriander, it's entirely up to you. So all you need to do is just put all your ingredients together into your food processor. So in goes the uh, pumpkin, in goes all the spices and the pinch of salt. In goes most of the um, sesame seeds because I'm actually just going to see how it does. And I'm going to pop in the um, parsley as well. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to put it in the blitzer and we're going to make a noise and just pulse it a little bit. So hang on a sec. Right, let's have a look. That didn't take very long at all, did it? So we're just going to give that a nice bit of a stir around, get it off the bottom. And everything is combined together and you can see the colour of that. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm going to give it a taste. Oh my god, I so love this flavour. It's perfect. Didn't need all the sesame seeds today. You just have to tell because of the moisture in the um, squash. So anyway, I'm going to try not to eat all of this, but give it a go because you'll be surprised how wonderful and tasty it is. See you another time. Bye.